Hi everybody. It's Monday night. So that means it's time for Stampin' with Denise. You know, I don't really like Mondays, you know, because I much rather, I like the weekend. But you know what? I like it because I get to come and I get to talk to all of you and show you something new. Hi, Linda. I'm trying to pull this up on my Facebook or on my iPad so I can keep track of what's going on. Hmm. Trouble. Do everyone have a nice Mother's Day, at least those of you in the U.S.? I know other countries celebrate Mother's Day, but I think they do it at different times. So I don't know if there's any other countries that celebrated this weekend or if it was just us. Okay, we pulled it up here. Um, let's see. If you're on, give me a comment. Well, that explains it. I'm not getting notified of when I go live because I had that turned off. I don't know why. Let's see. Oh, am I having internet issues here? Am I frozen? My iPad's frozen, but that doesn't mean anything. Hmm. Hang tight, folks. I love technology, but it can be a booger. There we go. Okay. So, okay, well, obviously I celebrated Mother's Day yesterday. Also, it was our wedding anniversary. It was our 35th wedding anniversary. So my husband and I, we had a, actually a nice quiet day at home. So it was a very pleasant weekend. I spent some time here in my craft room getting ready for today. I am um, still working on getting ready for the new catalog and playing with a few of the things that are retiring, which is what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to. Sh it's something I've been meaning to do, and it time got away from me. And I'm like, I only have a couple more weeks. You know that this the stuff in this catalog will be gone in about one, two, three weeks. I think it's the fourth when the new catalog goes live. Yeah, so we only have just about three weeks. So, um, be sure to get it while you, um, while you can. So, this was the card we made last week. And remember, I give you um, a chance to win the card for sharing my video and you need to comment below the video that you shared so I can send it to you. And last week's winner was Vicki Jo Selix. So Vicki, I want to thank you so much for sharing my video. So, um, I have a fun card we're going to work on tonight. Going to work on a, making a, I got this, a shaker card. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna put the camera up so it's pointing down and we're gonna get started and you'll be able to see it much better. So let's get going here. Okay, let's see here. <clears throat> let's see. Okay, let me get my lighting squared away. There we go. So this is something I'd been wanting to make for a while on here and just hadn't had a chance. It's a shaker card. Isn't that cute? I've just got some sequins and some beads in there. And I, I just think it makes some of the cutest cards. So I hope you like it tonight. Um, and this shaker card was made with the Jar of Love stamp set. I've done all the stamping and everything already, so um, there's enough with put, you guys have all seen me stamp and everything together. So you can see it's well loved, it's been well used. Um, it's really nice because there's two sizes of jars. Actually, there's three sizes of jars. Got some hand handle, you got some fireflies here. 
Got some sentiments. Here's the, the lid. Um, I especially like this one. I wanted to stamp it inside of the jar, but it wouldn't fit. It says, throw kindness around like confetti. I thought that was cute. And it has a matching set of dies, which you may or may not be familiar with. So these are packed up. Usually I store my um, dies on a um, magnetic sheet, but again, since it's retiring. So, you know, you have the, like, so let's say this is the jar that I used uh, for here. And then this is the die that cuts the window out. So it's it's nice. Um, I don't think it works. No, it doesn't really work with the smaller one. It would be too tall. This is it works with this. So very good. If you're local, if you're local and are coming to my class classes in June, it'll it'll. This, I don't know that I'm if I'm keeping this or not, but it might be in my BOGO, so buy one and get one. And I'll just explain that while I'm talking on my for my BOGO sale. You buy my used or my not my used, my retired product for regular catalog price. And you get that much in free product out of the new catalog. So it's pretty cool. So this may be available. I hadn't really decided yet. I'm kind of on the fence with it. I haven't completely decided. Oh, let me show you. This is another shaker card that I made at a um, at a swap, and I thought this was so cute. Um, the the background was stamped with kind of a beach scene, and then we were all given sand to put in there. Isn't that cute? So really, you could do anything. You can use sequins. You can use beads. You can use sand. Um, you could cut little, you know, punch out little pieces of confetti with a punch. Um, someone said they saw someone use sprinkles when they stamped a cupcake. I, I don't know how that would hold up. But um, anyway, so lots of fun things, and they're always a big hit. Makes people smile. So I thought this was something I wanted to show you to start out with. And for tonight's card I I guess I'm not doing any stamping my stamping's all done but I wanted to show you I'm using shaded spruce that's for the leaves and then the DSP that makes the words I'm using petal pink that's for the lighter part of the flower and then I have flirty flamingo which is the darker part as well as the lid itself um, these I used some sequins from some sp sprinkle embellishments from a couple years ago that I had on hand. There are some other sequins in the catalog that you can use. Um, and like I said, you can get creative. We've got Granny Apple Green. Well, let me show you too. The DSP that I use, I'm so sad this is going because I love these colors. I love the pinks and the greens in this. It's called Tropical Escape DSP. It's a six by six has some great, great patterns in it. I've used it a couple times before, I think, on videos. But I, I love this. I may have to pick up an extra pack of that. I don't know. I'm debating. But I better not wait too long because it'll be gone. Okay. So we're going to start out, first of all, with the base. And, of course, as you know, this is half of an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. So that makes it five and a half by eight and a half, and we're folding it in half and using the bone folder for the crease. Now for my DSP, it is, it goes this way. It was just one piece of paper, and this piece of paper was four by five and a half, but then what I did was I just cut two inches off the bottom, and I'm gonna flip it over, and it'll fit on there just right. So some people overlap them. I thought, you know, make one a little bigger and have them overlap. I thought, eh, why bother? The trick with this is just making sure that I get the adhesive on the right side of the paper. Have you ever done that where you were gonna adhere 
some designer series paper or something down and you put your adhesive on the wrong side. Yep, been there, done that. So, but, so sometimes maybe your project doesn't turn out exactly. I'm going to just set this down on here very lightly so I can make sure I get it all lined up. So... Sometimes it's a, there we go. What do you know? Pretty darn good. Okay, so that part's done already. Okay, now to the fun stuff to make the shaker part. Yay! So you're gonna need. I've got the here's the back, you know, the back part of the jar, and you probably don't even need to stamp it. You just need to die cut it. But you know what? I take chances I went ahead and, and stamped it too. Then you stamp two of those and then on one of them which makes the front you cut out you use the other die to cut out your hole. Okay and then um, I have a piece of window sheet. Did you know that we sell window sheet in our catalog? Yep. This is great and I just used it to I just used the die to cut it to make sure it fit. What we're going to do is I'm going to put some glue on there and put it on there. So let me, the one thing you have to be careful when you're doing this is that you don't put too much glue on because you don't want it to seep out because let me tell you it will make, it will ruin the um, window sheet. And I'll have all the products on the um, in the description of the video when we're done. So we're talking a super super small amount. I like Tombow but sometimes it's a little bit unruly. So I'm just gonna put a cup a few pieces here or a little bit there for right now. Oh you know what I'm gonna do to get a piece of scratch paper so I don't get glue all over my um, grid paper. There we go. Because then I like doing that then I can just throw it away. I and mean, I'm just gonna use a little Q tip to spread the glue around. I mean, you can always remember you can always add more, but it's hard to take it away. And once you've got glue, you got glue. okay. That looks pretty good. The other thing you want to do is try not to get glue on your hands because it'll transfer onto here too. But and I've got glue on my fingers, so we're gonna try to not. Okay, it gives you just a second to get that laid down, get it lined up, and there you go. I'm going to tell you, less is more. Tombow's great, but you got to be careful. Too much is not, too much of Tombow is not a good thing. Okay, so I think that is really good. Okay, let me put the, that away. And then, in our catalog, out of our catalog, you're going to use these foam adhesive strips, okay? You're going to take a complete one out of the package, off the package. Hang on here. There we go. Just like that. I'm going to flip this over, and on the back side, you're going to start, you're going to go all the way around your jar. Now, you want your the point where they connect, you want that at the top. Hold on, I'm adjusting my camera. Sorry, folks. Okay, you want that at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of start it like this. You'll see what I mean. Any potential gap, you want that on the top rather than the bottom. And you just kind of bend it around here. Can you see what I'm doing there? This foam strip fits this perfectly. It's just like it was made for that. I'm gonna twist it a little bit here. It's nice, it's not on paper, so it comes up a little bit easier. There we go, like that. See how that looks on the, oh, perfect, see? Looks great, I can't really even see it. 
Then we're going to kind of twist this around like this. Right like that. Where are my scissors? Trim this off. There we go. And you can save that to use on something else. I think it's hard to do a, a good shaker card with little pieces simply because you end up with a lot of, um, oh, what do I want to say? You, you risk, um, you know, things falling out or not getting a good seal. Now I've got a little bit of um, this foam strip that's showing here. So I'm going to just kind of trim that up. I think that looks good. I can always trim a little more later if I want to. Okay, now I'm going to take some of these. Again, these were these these were some sprinkle embellishments from a couple of years ago, but I thought that they matched the color of the card I was making really well. So I decided to go ahead and pull them out. I don't usually like. Oh, you know what I want to do first? I want to take my strip off. I'm going to take my backing on my adhesive strip off. There we go. And I'm going to put those out of my way. Okay. I'm just putting in a few at a time. They like to, you know, they're static. They like to stick. If it gets really bad, you could use your embossing buddy to kind of get them unstuck from your fingers. That does work. I love this. I may have to make a few more of these before I get rid of my set. Okay, come on. I'm trying to get that one off the... There we go. Good grief. Static. There we go. We're going to stop with that. I know I'm driving y'all nuts. I'm trying to wrestle, wrangle them. Okay. And there's still that green sequence stuck to my finger. There we go. It got off. I'll fight with him later. So now we're going to take the back and simply line it up. Put it on there. Just like this. Don't pick your front up and turn it over because you'll have your glitter or your sequins or whatever. And voila, there you go. There's your jar. Simple, simple. Okay. I'm going to go ahead, I think, right now I'll go ahead and adhere it to my card front. I'm just going to use my snail adhesive. And let's see, let's put it right about there. I think that looks good. Okay. Um, I used, I die cut the word hooray. This uses shaded spruce. Um, this is from the die set. Oh, it's out of the occasions catalog and it's carrying over. And I don't remember the name of it right off the top of my head. But it has dies and a stamp set that goes with it. It's really nice. And then you use the um, double-sided adhesive um, strips that are retiring adhesive sheets. And so it makes it just like a sticker. It's great. And, of course, I can't put... Oh, I know where it's... I got it right here. It is called the Well-Written... Well-Written framelit dies and it coordinates with the well said stamp set and um, you can purchase those together as a bundle until June 3rd come June 4th it'll be too late so I'm gonna use my you pick tool here just to help handle so anyway, I die cut it out. It had the pa adhesive paper on the back. There we go. Pull it off just like a sticker. Isn't that nice? 
I'm going to turn this around so that I'm sure to get this straight. And I'll turn it back. Isn't that nice? Okay, there we go. Now all I'm going to do is decorate my jar. I'm going to put the jar lid. I know most jar lids aren't pink, but that's okay. Put that on there. That uh, stamp set also has a, uh, a die, stamp and a die cut to make a handle, which is really cute. Where did it just, where did it go? Here it goes. So you've got a little handle. So that's a lot of fun. If you want to make it look like a, a jar with lightning bugs, that would be cute. Can you put that away? And then all I have to do is put together my little flower embellishment on our card. And I kind of, when I'm building stuff like these, especially when they're small, I usually just punch out something to build it on. This is a little big, so I'll make it a little bit smaller. Just because then I can put it all on in one fell swoop. It's not pretty, but that works. That's just the way I like to do it. So I'm going, and I'm going to use glue dots just because I know they're going to hold well. I won't have to worry about fighting with um, snail or glue. Tombow has its place, but sometimes you're better off just foregoing the Tombow. I'm going to put another glue dot here in the middle. I'll show you what I'm going to do here. Okay. Whoops. I'm just going to kind of put one piece of greenery this way and one this way, I guess. Put the big, bigger flower here. See how nicely that goes together? And then I'm going to use one more glue dot here. Like this. And there you go. And I'm going to attach it with a glue dot. Normally I would want to put something like this on with dimensionals, but because I've already got some thickness to my card from my foam, I don't want to make it thicker because that will make it even harder to mail. So now I've got this nice little back. I can kind of play with this, but I think I'm going to put it right like that. And look at that. There we go. Very own shaker card. There you go. I hope you all like that. That really wasn't too hard. Now, of course, I had done the stamping and the die cutting and everything already, so that made it a little bit, um, go a little bit quicker. But, um, so if you like my card and you like my videos, please share them. And maybe next week you'll be the lucky winner of this card. Um, next week... Next week? No, it might be... Yeah, probably next week will be the last week I'll be using any product out of the old catalog. That'll be on May 20th. So if there's something you'd like to see me use, make a card with, if I have it, I'd be glad to do it. Um, send me some suggestions or post them down below in this comment. Uh, the 27th is Memorial Day, and actually I'm going to be out of town, so I'm not going to do a live that day, and then when I come back after that we'll use some, some new product because that'll be the last day for the catalog. So um, please share my video. Invite your friends to come watch my videos, even in the replay. You can share them until next um, Monday, just before my video. You guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it, and we'll see you all next week. Bye now. Have a great week, and get some stamping done. Bye now.